Hello, anybody. I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Binding of Isaac Rath the Lamb. That's right, I'm back with some more Binding of Isaac Rath the Lamb. Today, I'm gonna jump in here, and, uh, you know, I got, I got a lot of Eve requests, so you know what? Let's play Eve. Why not? I'm not a huge fan, I'll say. But, uh, you know, I, I have gotten lucky with Eve. Uh, honestly, probably on more occasions than not. Um, though, you know, getting past her initial downfalls, her detriments, uh, can be pretty difficult. Oh well, that's gonna open up that blue rock for us, which is pretty nice. Uh, so happy troll bomb. One of the few instances in which uh, troll bombs are awesome. This is gonna be freaking great, Griff Homer, Griff, Griff Hemmings. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, good stuff. Also, hey, by the way, in case you didn't notice, um, I don't know if it shows up very well with, uh, scheduled uploads, because I have a scheduled upload for, uh, today with, uh, XCOM, but, if you didn't notice, oops, a daisy, that's not what I wanted to do, if you didn't notice, um, new XCOM is up, so that's cool, if you guys like the XCOM Let's Play, then, uh, you know, you'd probably be happy with the new XCOM being up, I'm pretty happy about it. I love that game. It's a great game. And if you haven't seen it, uh, I would just suggest you check it out. I'm having a fun time. A lot of people uh, seem to enjoy it. So that's good. Um, and unlike other Let's Plays, uh, it seems to get more popular as I make more videos. Where uh, Whereas normally, it, they tend to get less popular as I make more videos. So um, so that's good. So hopefully you guys are, are coming over and enjoying yourselves. Uh, I am actually kind of happy that I got hit there because... Um, now the dead bird's gonna be doing a little extra damage, which is pretty nice. Um, so, a couple things, man. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard, people who are not from America, you probably still heard, um, considering you guys already know about, oh god, considering you guys, I'm doing a poor job of dodging today for some reason. Um, yeah, sometimes, you know, it's just not, not your day, man. But, um, yeah. The, uh, Obama, he won, again. Uh, what should I, should I, could I, nah, nothing I could do. Yep, nothing I could do. Alright, go down to the next floor. Um, yeah, Obama won again. He's, uh, re-elected. I'm happy, uh, certainly. I mean, you guys have heard my opinion on, on the whole election type of thing, and I, I like, honestly, there wouldn't be a, a entirely fundamental difference between the two of them. Uh, at least not in the meaningful ways, not in the ways that I really care about, uh, which is education reform and, uh, you know, voting reform and, and just a whole bunch of other reforms. They're more or less the same guy. Uh, I mean, they, they, they have very minute differences. Um, but there's a couple cool things that happen. For instance, Washington, Colorado. Um, I don't know if we know about Oregon yet, but... Um, they voted for legalizing marijuana. That's not, that, that doesn't even mean, like, decriminalizing. That doesn't mean, oh, this is Mr. Mega, right? Yeah, or Mr. Boom or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, th th that doesn't mean, like, like, medicinal marijuana. That means that, like, straight up, it's legal. Uh, like Amsterdam. Now, of course, it's gonna be fought, even though I don't understand how that's a thing. Like, you they you lose and then now Congress gets to be like well hold on a second the power of the people doesn't fucking matter we're gonna say that we're right um, even though that does kind of make sense I don't know but either way it's interesting it's very interesting also uh, I think Washington um, legalized gay marriage which is awesome uh, I think someone else legalized gay marriage might have been New Hampshire or something. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, a couple, a couple really, really cool things happened uh, during the election. There's a weird vote. Uh, there was a weird vote for um, Los Angeles, or not Los Angeles, California, um, that basically said I don't know what the results of it are, but basically it said, uh, "Oh well, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to drop Senor Mega uh, and uh, get him to really well. Fuck it. All right, hey, that works out anyway." Um, and we can look for the secret room with our one last bomb, even though, you know, it's actually, we're gonna get Mr. Mega here after we beat this boss, because it seems to be a two-room charge, so let's do that. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's, that's pretty cool, couple, couple cool things, you know, America, we are finally making it to the 21st goddamn century and stop, uh, and, you know, uh, we're maybe in, on the path to not being so bigoted and, and horrible and annoying. And uh, making sure that every other country hates us. So, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Um, 
So that's good. I'm, I'm happy about that. That, that. That's that's pretty cool. I'm also kind of happy with uh, Obama being president. I mean, the thing is, while I've said that I don't really care either way, um, I, I would say that I probably most associate... I'm more center-left than I am center-right. Probably. Eh. Yeah, probably. Oh, balls. I mean, it depends. You know, it really does depend. I mean, some conservative financial policies make sense if we're not talking about the modern stupid conservative financial policies which are just like deregulate everything make sure that nothing matters business is the master you know like that, that's that, that's just stupid oh gosh what do we do nothing all right go down to the next floor i guess Let's see what's popping uh we got some lipstick on which is pretty nice now we like n look nice and pretty um, but, you know, uh, cons conservation, uh, conservation is a good thing. I mean, the thing is, like, traditional conservative policies should have been, like, for instance, uh, Theodore Roosevelt was a conservative, and conservatives like environmental protection. You know why? Because it's called conservation. But now it's like, it's like, well, God intended for us to burn down the trees, so we're gonna burn down the- Like, conservatism doesn't actually mean conservatism anymore. I don't know. Um, so I've long lost, uh, any hope for the right side of things. Oh, damn it. And right, I mean by right versus left, as opposed to, uh, morally correct. Um, but, you know, whatever. Dead bird, if you would, please do something. Please, God, just do something. Nope, alright, whatever. Um, so yeah, you know, a uh, bunch of cool things, you know, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, here's, th this is the one thing that I wanted to mention, was, um, part of the reason that I'm kind of happy that Obama won is because I have more hope with him being uh, an FDR-like reformer than I do. Samson's Lock is a pretty good item, by the way. Uh, it's gonna work kind of like Bloody Lust. Yeah, but I have more hope for him being an actual reformer than I do for Mitt Romney, even though he hasn't shown that he's going to do that. You know, he said it, and he said it last election, he said it this election. Oh, poop. <laughs> Literally. But, eh, you know, whatever. Say la vie, I suppose. But anyway, uh, on the channel front, uh, we broke 4,000! We broke 4,000! I wish I could have, like, an applause reel or, like, a gag, like, a laugh reel as well right now or something. Something uh, exciting. We broke 4,000, guys. I just want you to know that I love you all very much. I hope you, I hope you do know that. I hope you know that, um, that I do love you so much. And, uh, you know, we, we, we did this. Not me. We did. Uh, because I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. Just something, something to keep in mind. A lot of YouTubers, a lot of uh, celebrities forget that. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm a celebrity. I'm saying that a lot of YouTubers do, and I'm saying as well, also a lot of celebrities, a lot of athletes uh, forget that as well. Um, you know, they, they like to say like they're entitled to something or something or other, and it's said it or like uh, they don't care about their viewers or their watchers or their whatever, what have you. Um, and, you know, you have to keep in mind that, look, I could talk for days and no one could listen. And then, what am I? I'm just some dude. But with you guys, I'm Alpaca Patrol. So, you know, I just want to put that out there. I want to I wanna let you guys know how much I love you all. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, we could play Demon Judgment or we could play the Blood Bank. So I think I'm going to play the Blood Bank. Um... Because I want some money as well. Oh, all right, that works too, I guess. Um, honestly, wasn't expecting that. Wow, we cannot find the secret room to save our lives. It could be up here. Let's see. We'll use bo all, both our bombs. Oh, cool. All right. I was already willing to use both our bombs. God damn it! Three cents. That is really irritating. Well, I suppose it happens. Uh, well. Oh, I. I oh. I'm an idiot. Didn't realize I had temperance. Let's uh, let's go back in here. Let's use temperance. Okay, there we go. We have enough money now. Uh, and we have full health. Okay, so let's go to Le Shop and see what's going on in Le Shop. Could be greed. Uh, eh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see.
Hey, book revelations. Yes, I will take. Come on. God damn it, locked controls. Every time, every goddamn time. But whatever. Um, we've succeeded, my friends. Wondrous day. And yeah, uh, we broke 4,000 subs. I love you guys. I love you very much. I want you to know that. And don't call yourselves fans. Uh, you guys always call yourself fans. I don't want to say that you're fans. I don't do anything that's worthy of fanaticism. Uh, I, I, you guys are family, is what you guys are. So, I just want to put that out there. And if I accidentally call you fans, I'm sorry. Uh, in advance, in the future. Uh, because sometimes the word sneaks out because you guys mention it all the time. But, uh, but yeah. Um, next stop, Alpaca Patrol in the White House. Oh, that was a really stupid dodge. That was maybe... What the fuck, balls? Um, yeah, that was maybe like the stupidest dodge that I've ever made. Um, we are not doing great. Like, we got this damage up for, uh... For speed... Ball or what, what? What is it? Growth hormones, um, which is great, but that I think that basically just puts us at normal damage for like Isaac or something. So while it's good, it's not great, and I really hate fighting pestilence. Oh, good, okay. And his final bomb took out all the maggots. That was very nice of him to do that. Um, but yeah, man, craziness. Next election cycle is gonna be weird. Oh, also here's another thing. Uh, Puerto Rico is, um, they voted, and they voted for, um, becoming, uh, part of the union. So Puerto Rico should be the 51st state as long as Congress approves it. Come on, dead bird, I'm literally walking you into them. There you go, finally. Jesus, God, this is like the worst, worst item. Okay, we got another cube of meat, which is good. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of cubes of meat because of our book revelations. You know what? Fuck it. We're taking the pact. I want damage. Um, may not be the best idea. But it's an idea that I took. Um, and I don't think there's anything else we could do. So, we'll leave. Um, yeah. So, Puerto Rico. Uh, basically, uh, they voted and they, they had a referendum. They had The last referendum they had was like 1996 or something. On whether or not they wanted to be... Um, a state. They always kind of vote against it. Uh, but this time they voted for it. They voted that they want to be the 51st state. Now, this doesn't mean that they're going to be the 51st state. Uh, that depends on Congress. Congress still has to basically approve them. And, uh, you know, it's entirely possible that they don't get approval. But, if they do, and if there are any Puerto Rican viewers here, uh, welcome to the goddamn union, man! Feel free to enjoy these horrible, really annoying political ads every four years uh, that are going to abuse your mind and brain every time you watch television or even the internet now. Um, I told you guys when I was in Florida, right, like the political ads were insane there. It's like every other com commercial was a goddamn political ad. Oh man, it was it was rough. It was a rough time. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, but a troll bomb's kind of lame, except not when it does that. So that's cool. I'm happy about that happening. Uh, you know what I could use out of that pill would be like a health up or something would be nice. Just saying. Oh, no, 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 no! God damn it. That was one of those scenarios in which our speed was actually too good. We had too much speed, fellas. And ladies. Uh, oh god, alright, we're good. Sometimes these guys, if you're not in the right position when you kill Monstro, uh, these guys will spawn on you and then uh, terrible things will happen. Uh, to your family, and it's never fun, because, you know, my family doesn't deserve it. Uh, especially considering I just went over- oh god, how you guys are my family. Alright, anyway, uh, cool. We got the Hoof of the Goat, uh, the world is a good card, we'll use the Book of Revelations. We'll use this pill. Balls of Steel, that's actually the thing that I was kinda hoping for. But we're gonna take, uh, Samson's Lock, because Goat Hoof is a speed up. I realize that, uh, you know, people have told me that Goat Hoof is, ah, uh, it's a shitty item. Uh, Goat Hoof is a damage up because the wiki told them. Here's the thing, don't trust the wiki. Uh, because the wiki's not generally wrong, but it's often wrong, so. You know, you can't really trust the wiki for anything. So don't. Don't do it. Uh, 
and uh, and they they have since changed it. I know that uh, curved horn is definitely a damage up. Oh balls, og balls, og balls, og balls. Uh, I really want to move him to the right. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boondabar. Okay, cool. Come on, buddy. Mm, buddy dead. Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, man. Uh, don't trust the wiki. Uh, curved horn. I, I like. I don't know if the goat hoof actually even does anything. I can see kind of a little bit of a notice. Excuse me. A little bit of a noticeable uh, speed up when I use it. I don't know if that's that. Fuck balls. Uh, a lot of balls in this cast today for some reason. I wonder what's going on with that. But yeah, um, thank you, Deadbird. It's very nice of you to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna share my hair. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. A uh, ball sacks of doom! That really worked out really well until right now. Wow. I have no idea how we didn't activate all those dudes, but we didn't, and, you know, it works for me. This can turn into a shitty room if you're not careful, but, um, I think I'm being pretty careful. Especially since I have lots of damage, and lots of tears up and all that from, uh, the pack. The pack is actually, like, a full stats up, uh, from what I'm, I can tell anyway. Uh, cause you, you get faster, your fire rate gets faster. Maybe it's just the fire rate and stuff faster. Speeder. Faster, speeder, speeder, faster. Oh, also, by the way, uh, did you guys know that Disney... Someone, someone asked this in the comments, how do you feel about the, um, Disney and all that. Uh, yeah, did you guys hear that Disney Pants, uh, took over LucasArts? Pretty interesting, man. I mean, it makes sense that they that that they did that because uh, they had already taken over Pixar from Lucas Films or whatever. Um, so it makes sense that the companies kind of know each other enough to do that kind of a thing. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, Disney has a pretty good track record with uh, dealing with artistic corporations that want to retain their integrity. I mean, a lot of the thing is, I'm sure Disney just kind of wants to make a Star Wars theme park, and I think they should. Because uh, that would be awesome. Also, uh, evidently, um, uh, well, I guess it's not really evident. Apparently, uh, I, mean, I suppose there is evidence. That's not, but not necessarily. I don't know. George Lucas said he wants to. Oh yeah, all right, fine. George Lucas said he wants to uh, give away his four billion dollars that he made from the sale of Lucas Arts, and either those are worth it. If I had a D6, I'd re-roll it though. And there's no reason to keep exploring. Not really. I mean, maybe maybe to get a little more money. Let's do it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, he wants to give away the $4 billion that he got from Disney for the sale of LucasArts to charity, which is pretty cool. Um, although, I don't know how he's, how he's going to give away half of that, because half of that $4 billion is tied up in Disney stock, so is he just going to sell his, his share in Disney? I don't know. But uh, apparently he wants to give it all away to the charity, and he wants to vo devote the rest of his life to philanthropy. It's a good, good idea. That's uh, I like that. That's, uh, I like that idea. If I were ever a rich man, I would pretty much devote all my time to philanthropy. Uh, because why not? You have enough money to. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go fight greed. <clears throat> the reason that we're gonna fight greed is. Uh, by the way, I don't know if it's greed, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and the reason that we're going to fight greed is because, uh, I want to, I want to, uh, get some money. So if I get money for next floor, then, uh, then greed's probably not in the next shop. He might be in the next shop, but, he, like, one of the next two shops he won't be in, so. Oh, balls. Oh, shit balls. God, I hate fighting super greed. It's irritating. It's just the spawning of those greed heads is just... Fuck you! I was in the middle of that! Oh, come on! Oh, God. Getting super greed is the most irritating goddamn thing. At least we got the quarter. It's just these greed heads, man. They just have so much goddamn health. Oh, fuck that! Alright, we still managed to survive. <sighs> you know, sometimes... Sometimes this game... Alright, let's, uh, let's see if that's the secret room. And it is. 
And it's got a slot machine. Well, let's blow it up. Because why not? And it's got a pill. Let's see what it is. Tears up. You know what? That all kind of worked out, I guess. Two bombs for a tears up. That's probably worth it. Uh, in all honesty. It is kind of hot in my room, which is odd because it's like really cold outside. Hmm. Odd stuff, man. I think I'm going to go on a bike ride after this. That'd be good. You guys want to go on a bike ride with me? You guys should go on a bike ride with me. Show up on a bike ride. Do it. Just show up. It'd be really weird if, like, I uh, I met somebody on the bike ride who watches the Upack Patrol channel. That'd be interesting. The odds are extremely slim. I mean, even in New York. Oh, balls! Okay. Interesting nonsense. Alright. Bundabar. Let us move on. Uh, yes. Let's go see what that is. Steam sale. I mean, that's basically useless, but let's pick it up. The Fool is a terrible card, so we're just going to take the world again. The Steam sale is going to be basically worthless because the next shop is going to be greed anyway, so whatever, I guess, but eh, you know. Who knows? Maybe it's not greed. There's a small chance that it won't be greed, so... You know, that's good, at least. Um, I wish these guys hurt each other with the green bombs, man. Yeah. We chose to take half a heart of damage as opposed to a full heart. We might lose, like, all of our blue hearts on this... Shit! Oh, come on. I can't move. Uh, we might lose all of our blue hearts on this floor, um, which would be really shitty. But it is entirely possible because it is the Necropolis, and that's kind of a thing that happens on the Necropolis. God damn it! Walk into the spikes like an idiot. I mean, in truth, I kind of had to, but not so much if I went down. Okay. Alright, down to four hearts. Oh, good. More green bomb rooms. God damn it. All right, we did it. We got another blue heart. We got two bombs, which is good. Mm, yes, I will use a bomb and a key to see what's in here. Troll bomb and money. Money, of course, I do not need. I was really hoping for like fate or something. We haven't seen fate in like so long. It'd be nice, man. I'm just saying, game, if you decided that you wanted to give me fate, I'd be pretty happy with you. I just want to let you know. I might even record another video if you were to give me fate. You know you want to be played. Although, maybe not. Maybe maybe the game's all worn out and doesn't want to be played anymore. I mean, it does have over 200 hours on it. Oh, balls. Eh, this is a shitty room. See, why did they arbitrarily stop? That was That's the annoying part. Come on, dead bird. Oh, you're so useless. God damn it. Okay. Down to one and a half blue hearts. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys. <laughs> Things are not looking great for us right now, to be sure. Um, I still feel like it was a good idea to take the pact. People yelled at me for not taking the, uh, the mark last time. So... I feel like it was still a good idea. We don't need that bomb. To take the pact. Is there no... Tr okay, alright. There's another room. <laughs> I was about to say, if we got so unlucky that we didn't get a treasure room, I would be upset. Because apparently that's possible, by the way. Like, apparently... Like, it, it is... There is a chance to not get treasure rooms. Um, uh, I think it's an extremely minute chance. But the chance exists. You'd have to be particularly unlucky to not get one, I'd have to say. Even I'm not that unlucky. I feel bad for the man who has that happen to him. Or woman, I suppose. Uh, cool beans! Give me my key, you goddamn dingus! Oh, jinga bingus! Alright, still good. We'll just kill these guys any one of these days. Just kill. Kill them all! I want your blood! Alright, bootiful. Mmm, shitballs! Why did he move? Why did he move? 
Okay, finally we have encountered the room of things that I want to encounter. Did I miss? I missed the blue heart and blue rock in uh, in Gertie. Balls. I was I was trying to tell myself to remember that, but then I forgot it. Oh, Boner City. All right. I don't know if this means that we're that like it's still possible, but it it might mean that. It might mean that. Uh, no. What do we got over here? We got a uh, slot machine. I kind of want to go. Oh, yeah. There's nothing in the shop. Now that I remember, I was like, I was like, wasn't well, there a blue heart in the shop or something like that? No, you dingus. That was last shop. Oh, uh, balls. I mean. Eh, it's still doable, maybe. We could get kind of far, potentially. Somewhat far, unless this is Mask of Infamy. And it's War Quest. Uh, which sucks, because I'm gonna probably die on War Quest. Uh, I should have realized that it was gonna be a Harbinger. Although sometimes it's not a Harbinger. Um, shit. Uh, we're kind of doing lots of damage. I mean, we're we're hitting fast, which is good. What's sad is there's no second stage of war. All right, I mean of conquest. Uh, so he doesn't actually like become easier as you fight him. You just have to keep fighting him. And I basically just have to hope that uh, the randomness of his movements don't hurt me. Yeah. Come on, Conquor. Conquor. Die, 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 die. Yeah. And he still gave me a cube of meat. Um, let's go see what's in here. Well, that's not worth it. We could take nine lives. And in fact, considering I have, you know what? Ah, but then we would lose our blue hearts. Nah, not worth it. Not worth it. And also, this cube of meat is equivalently probably not worth it. I like Meat Boy better, although we are firing quickly. Yeah, fuck it, we're gonna take cube meat. We haven't had Meat Boy in a while, because um, I generally decline to take cube of meat uh, in that scenario. Yes! That is happening. That is happening right now. Please, God, give me a health up. Or, you know, Judgment Baby. I would actually probably prefer that. Uh, come on. Get the two of diamonds. What am I doing? Use the two of diamonds, you dingus. Instead of playing more money. Really? The notched axe. Ooh. One of those runs, guys. Just one of those runs. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess we are getting kind of lucky. Um. It's not lucky in the right places. Mmm, shitballs. Hate when that happens. At least Meat Boy's doing some good work, kinda. Oh, the miter's gonna be good. It would have been good to have that as, like, you know, the first item, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers. We're down to Sans Samson level health. However, we do got this blue rock here, which gave us a fucking key. God damn it! I think we've had, like, one blue rock gave give us a blue heart, and I think it was just one single blue heart, too. Ugh, that's irritating. Whatever. There's Mama. Uh, she just killed a man. She put a gun against his head. Pulled his trigger. Now he's dead. Guys, is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. Oh, here's something interesting. Uh, did you guys notice that Barack Obama won by like two percent of the popular vote, but won by like like thirty percent of the electoral vote? Kind of just shows the problem with the electoral college system in this country. I mean, it still ended up, I guess, working. Yeah. Um, because I mean, you know, he won. He won the popular vote. He didn't lose the popular vote. But I mean, it's obvious that. If you do a good job, if you if you have a good strategy and bombard certain states with uh, campaign messages, 
you'll win the election. Uh, which is kind of what happened. Uh, you know, so... I don't know. The difference, the problem is this, is that you can't have direct vote either, because, I mean, you can, I don't know, you can kind of, you still have the tyranny of the majority, but when it comes to electing officials, that doesn't really matter. So, I mean, you can basically have direct vote, like, that's that's a, a possibility where, where the, um, where the popular vote is the only one that counts. Uh, however, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you, did you guys just see what just happened? Did you guys just see what just happened? I literally, that wasn't, I've never seen that. I have never in my life seen that. 200 plus hours of this game, I have never seen that happen. So we just happened to, I can't believe that. We just, ah, and we took damage on this stupid fucking night. I drop up, like, oh my god, that is, oh, give me the fucking tears up. Okay, there. I chose the right direction now. Let's go in here. Yeah, it's greed, I figured. Um, there's a chance, anyway. But I literally dropped a bomb when I thought I was gonna go, you know, next to it. Turns out I was gonna go all the fuck over it, inside of it, and glitch through it. I didn't think that that was possible with our character, but apparently it is. Uh, but, however, after that, I kind of needed to use the bomb and hurt myself anyway. God, that was weird. That was really weird. Well, I mean, the game just kind of screwed me. You know, I guess that's just another extension of, uh, of, of my poor luck in this game. <laughs> oh, look, a blue heart. I'll just drop a bomb in here. Nope, you're going to get stuck inside and blown up. Oh, good, red mom. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Motherfucker! Ah, shit balls. We may die on Red Mom here, guys. I don't want to die on Red Mom, but it's entirely possible that we're going to die on Red Mom. Mm, we took lots of damage early. Unnecessary damage, certainly. She is shooting a lot of bullets. It is really irritating. I'm going to be honest. I don't know why sometimes we're shooting out of the back of our head, also. That's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, we got a shot speed up. Great. Let's, uh, flip a coin and find- you know what? We're going to the shield. <laughs> Sorry. There is no way- like, there is almost no way that we're gonna make it, like, to shield. But there is no way in hell that we're going to make it through the cathedral and get to the chest. So, I'm going for the win, guys. I'm going for the win. Oh, man. Oh, no, I have to sneeze. I don't know how long this is going to last. Uh, I mean, I've got one hit. In fact, I may just straight up use the world just so that... I can be sure I know where I'm going. Although, yeah, you know what, let's use the world. Oh, good. The nice long path. Oh, good. Okay. Now, we may be able to survive, kinda. This is a shitty room, though. Oh, okay, we did it. We did it. We survived the shitty part. Now, this is the easy part. Thank you, Miter and Book of Revelations. I suppose it was kind of a waste of using the world card, but I was kind of expecting to die in the next room, so... You know, I figured might as well not save it for the time in which, uh... It's never gonna come. We are gonna shoot all this poop, however. Oh, God! Because, uh... You know, oh, it is a bad room. Especially with the angel fetus. Oh, come on, with the teleporting on top of you. That is irritating. Yep, again. Okay, there we go, wonderful. Cool. Success has been had this day, my friends. Uh, I should have went into the secret room. But I didn't, what are you gonna fucking do about it? Uh, what do I want in the secret room? An item, some kind of item, a good item of some sort. Spider bite would be nice. I'd be cool with that. 
Oh! Transcendence? Also pretty good. I'm also a pretty big fan of that item. Uh, you know, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna skip a couple rooms. Um, because otherwise, life could be bad. Um, so, Transcendence, pretty good item. Pretty happy about that. I mean, all things considered, we're getting pretty darn lucky. It's just not lucky in the way that was gonna make us win. Hey, another blue heart. Oh, hey look, it's me. It's pretty much exactly me, Meat Boy, if you would. Thank you. Boom, got another blue heart. And, yes, I will open up that chest. That sounds awesome. Alright, let's see who this is. Death, of course, as he often is. Oh boy. Okay, Meat Boy, if you would really just, you know, do anything, it would be really nice of you. I would be very excited for you to do that for us. There you go. Thank you, Meat Boy. Thank you, you boy of meat. You boy of little meat. Oh, that sounds actually kind of dirty. Never mind. I was I was doing, like, the ye of little face thing, but then it turned, like, halfway dirty. Uh, and that's never good. Oh, cool. We dealt with that guy. Cool beans. Uh, we got another cube of meat, which is super duper meat boy. We go fight Krampus. Oh, it's not Krampus. Uh, we could get the, the mark. However, we would lose all of our blue hearts and only get two in return. And I don't want to do that, so let's go down to the next floor. If it was worth one heart, I would have totally taken it. Like, if, it, if, it, if they had the mark for one heart, I would have taken the shit out of that. Um, because, whatever. We, we're just, we're just going to lose one heart. Functionally, right now, like, we're not going to get enough health ups that it's going to matter at this point anymore. So, like, it doesn't, doesn't really matter too much to me uh, what we get in that way. Alright, let's uh, deal with this last flying worm man. That's my, that's my best uh, Jamaican accent. Isn't it great? Really interesting though that um, that Puerto Rico decided to become a state. I'm actually really excited about that. Then we could have the 51st state. Oh, fuck. Hey, we got a health up. <laughs> Just when I was saying we weren't gonna get any health ups. Okay, this is kind of a shitty room. Really like Mega Meat Boy. Oh boy. They should make a Mecha Meat Boy. That'd be cool. Wunderbar, we got another blue heart, which is great because we lost a whole bunch of them in the last uh, run. I kind of got really confused by Meat Boy there. I thought I was Meat Boy and that my controls weren't working. Um, so, luckily, I figured it out soon enough. So that's good. All right, Wundenbaren. Really? You have no health. You've had no health forever, and now I have an itch on my nose, which I have to scratch. All right, Meat Boy, please, God, do something. All right, cool. Another blue heart. Cool. Let's go fight Mama's heart, the heart of Le Mama, as I like to refer to it. Thank you, Meat Boy. All right, that's gonna do absolutely nothing. That's gonna be, yep. Yeah, thanks, Meat Boy. Uh, part of the reason I hate Meat Boy. Part of the reason, uh, cause he kicks your bombs around, man. It's not soccer, Meat Boy, or football, as, uh, as. Europeans like to refer to it as. Um, hey, by the way, you know, people always ask this question, like, why do you guys call American football football? Well, there's actually a reason for that. Um, part of the reason is, like, if you read, like, old football scores uh, from, like, the early 20s and stuff when football first came out, um, basically, they were, they were pretty much always decided. People didn't score touchdowns as often as they do now. That wasn't like a thing. Football was mostly about defense. Um, for a long time, up until like 10, 15 years ago. Uh, so, uh, down to, no, down to shield. Um, 
So because of that, uh, part, one of the ways that you could score in football is uh, you kick a field goal. And you do that with your foot. Which is part of the reason that uh, that football was called football. Is because, um, generally speaking, they figured that, that people would only score with... Like, primarily you would score with a field goal. And, like, you know, scoring with a touchdown is... There's, there's a very low chance that that would happen, so... I know I didn't really explain that properly, but um, hopefully you made sense of it. Oh man. Okay. One more sloth to deal with. And fighting rooms is good uh, with the Book of Revelations because... Uh, because I get more blue hearts and whatnot. Or I get, you know, I, basically every room I fight I get a sixth of a blue heart. Which isn't great, but, you know, it's doable. Uh, this is a really shitty room. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it until he comes off of those rocks. Like, I could get in there, but he's just gonna walk into me and hurt me. And that would be no fun. Meat Boy's standing outside like, hey! Let me, let me, let me bite you. I just want to, I just want to chew on you. That's all I want to do is just chew on you. Sounds like a pop song. What I want to do is chew on you. I should be a pop singer, obviously. I mean, that, that, I mean, that, that sounds like it's going to be, you know, a platinum hit, doesn't it? It's just something that, like, Madonna would, um, would write, I think, really. Hey, funny joke. Not a funny joke at all, but, um... Uh, Madonna's daughter goes to my school now, or my, uh, my high school. Um, so that's interesting. I guess. I'm sure that's weird. I'm glad I didn't go there when she goes there, because that must be really weird, man. Because then everybody knows you're Madonna's daughter, and I'm sure there's paparazzi outside my school all the time. Um... And then, I don't know. That's gotta be, that's gotta be weird being like the, uh, I mean, let me, let me, let me, let me make this clear. I would love to be the son slash daughter, oh balls, uh, the son slash daughter of a very famous and rich person. That'd be awesome. Uh, but, it does also have to be weird because, I mean, you know, you never know if people are your friends because they're your friends, or they're your friends because you're the daughter of Madonna. You know? I did go to school with, um, Steve Buscemi's son. Uh, which is cool. He wasn't actually that... He was more of a cult classic kind of popular type of dude. Like, I love Steve Buscemi, but I'm sure a lot of people didn't know who Steve Buscemi was, uh, when I went to school with him. Uh, because, you know, that, that was before Boardwalk Empire and all that. I'm sure there are a lot of people who don't know who Steve Buscemi is now. But he's a beautiful man. He really is. He's Donnie in The Big Lebowski. Um, and he's constantly out of his element. Uh, he is... I loved him from Reservoir Dogs, if you guys ever saw Reservoir Dogs. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Reservoir Dogs, but if you haven't, you should, because... That movie's awesome. It's probably my favorite Tarantino film. It's his, it's Tarantino's first movie. Um, it's probably my favorite only because I saw it first. Um, and also, in a lot of ways, it's superior to, like, uh, Pulp Fiction and stuff. Alright. That took a while. Troll bombs, but we have another blue heart. So that's good. All right, here we go. We're gonna fight uh, Satan. Drop a bomb. Timed perfectly. Uh, Meat Boy, please, God, do something. There you go. There you go, Meat Boy. Good work. Uh, this could be a victory, potentially. Which is gonna be weird, cause like, I don't know, man. This is the, I wouldn't have imagined originally, or for a long time, that this could have been a victory. But it looks like it's very entirely possible that this could be a victory for us, which would be nice. And fire your laser. 
Uh, we took damage. It's unfortunate. But I think we got this. Yeah, looks like we got it. Probably. Oh, meat boy. Kick the fucking bomb away like an asshole. And we killed one of the worms of doom. So that's good. Oh, gotta move. Hey, we won! Vundabar! Vundabar, my friends! We have succeeded. We have beaten Satan, Satanicus, Lucifron, Lucifer de Couscous, Couscous, Couscous. Lucifer, you know, he's a big fan of Couscous. Um, I cook it for him all the time. I go to hell every once in a while, you know, just see how Lucifer's doing. He's a chill dude. Anyway, um, I feel like this is a scatterbrain video. Weirdness. But, uh, back to recording! I shall record even more after this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I think I'm gonna watch the fourth episode of Walking Dead, actually, while this renders, so I don't know if you guys watch that, but it's a pretty cool show. Um, yeah! So, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This is Alpaca Patrol, signing out. Peace, fools.